Hi, I'm Jim Nunnally, and this is my uh, Martin 1944 Martin D28 guitar. And uh, this is one of the the guitars that was built during the war when they were um, having a to conserve steel, and uh, it so it has an ebony truss rod, like a like a lot of them in the in the 1940s did. And uh, it has scallop braces. Just this is one of the models that's just before they stop scallop scalloping the braces of the guitar. And other than that, it is just a stock D28 from 1944. Um, I happen to have a pickup in this particular guitar that I use for plugging in live. I bought this guitar in 19. Uh, or in 2017, I bought this guitar. It's kind of a long story, but the original owner of the guitar, he played in a band, his name was Wendy Whitford, and he played in a band in Wisconsin. And when uh, my buddy Dix Bruce was growing up in that area and he was going to college in Madison, he used to go watch this band called the Goose Island Ramblers. And uh, there was in that band, there's uh, Bruce Ballarude and George, Smokey George played the fiddle, Bruce played the um, accordion, and uh, George, Smokey George also played the, the slide guitar. And Wendy Whitford, who owned this guitar, he played fiddle, Norwegian style fiddle, and he also played uh, uh, guitar, and uh, he wrote songs, and so, uh, Dix, when we were on tour back there, uh, we went to a house party at his sis Dix's sister's house, and uh, all the folks from the Goose Island Ramblers were there, and I got to meet them, and they were a wonderful band. They had started in 1933. And as it turns out, Wendy Whitford, who owned this guitar, his wife bought it for him for a Christmas, or not a Christmas present, a wedding present in 1944 brand new. And the guitar, I have a letter from Mike Longworth that this guitar was made in the same batch. Uh, Mike Longworth was with Gu Martin Guitar Company who wrote a great book on the history of Martin guitars. This guitar was made in the same batch as Hank Williams's guitar. So um, if you go to the Country Music Hall of Fame, they have Hank Williams's guitar and. I played there, and when after I played a show at the Country Music Hall of Fame, I took this guitar and went to the display and uh, in the museum there and had a photo taken of these two guitars. But it's from the same batch as that, as Hank's guitar. It's a wonderful guitar, and uh, Wendy passed away in 2007, 2000, year 2000, he had passed away. And his family held on to the guitar for 17 years. And then they, uh, when Smokey George passed away, Bruce Ballarude got a hold of Dix and said he, he thought the family was interested in selling this guitar. And so uh, Dix passed on it and he gave me the phone number and then said, Jim, you might want to give him a call. And I tried to call and I didn't get a hold of anybody. But then I was on tour about a year or so later, and uh, I was playing in Chicago and then heading up to play in Wisconsin. And I thought, oh, I'll give them a call and see if they they are, uh, have the guitar. I was able to get a hold of the daughter and uh, Wendy's daughter, and she said they still had the guitar and. Uh, they let me come and play it, and uh, I made an offer on the guitar, and they said they would like me to have it. So here it is. It's a wonderful guitar, and it has a wonderful history of music, and they were considering putting it in a museum, Wisconsin Musicians Museum, but they, they decided they wanted to have it played rather than uh, sit in a museum. And I'm thankful to the Wendy's family and all the kids for letting me be the caretaker of it and glad it's been out in the world being used. So since 2017, I've played it on almost every gig uh, since then.